And what happened at the Hawaii State Hospital highlights the fact a new psychiatric facility designed to prevent escapes has been built but sits unused in Kaneohe. KITV Forest Paul Drews reports some are now calling for it to open immediately. Just down the hill from the Hawaii State Hospital is Kaneohe District Park. As Lokelani Kaho'opi'i took her grandson there to swim, she expressed concern about the latest escape from the nearby psychiatric facility. So it's always a concern when um, people's safety is in jeopardy. And when you don't understand the individual's state of mind, that's, that's what makes it scary. A lot of people are very upset about it, uh, especially to have this happen again in such a visible way. More concerning is that the individual is still on the loose. Four and a half years ago, another escape caught the attention of the community. Randall Saito, a patient with a violent past, walked away from the state hospital and ended up on the mainland. His escape prompted some security changes at the site and also encouraged lawmakers to fund a brand new $160 million facility. It was filled with more cameras and designed so staff could keep an eye on more patients at the same time. But there's just one problem. After being finished nearly a year ago, this state-of-the-art psychiatric center has never been used. It's just really frustrating that that building sits empty while our community is concerned right now because there's somebody out on the loose that should have been in there. The Department of Health has not said when the new facility will finally open and has not released details of the latest escape. Instead, it issued a statement saying only the department continues to investigate how Mr. Schmetke was able to leave the state hospital. Kaneohe Senator said he heard from the department on why there have been delays for the new facility finally opening, but now says this latest escape shows the community cannot wait any longer. We've heard from them that there are some building defects they need to take care of, there are some safety concerns they need to do, and some staff training that needs to happen. None of those excuses are good enough at this point. It's been almost a year. It's time for the facility to be open. They told Paul Drews, KITV4 Island News.